Alright, so check this out. There's a new AI video generator on the block called Magi1 from Sand AI, and it's definitely trying to shake things up. And get this, it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license, which is pretty generous and awesome for the community. But the big question is, how does it stack up against the heavy hitters, right? Well, Sand AI actually put it head-to-head -head with models like Kling 1.6 in some human evaluation tests. The results are pretty interesting. Looking at the scores from those tests, Kling 1.6 still seemed to get the nod overall and for visual quality a bit more often. However, Magi 1 is clearly stepping into the ring and holding its own. People rated them neck and neck on motion quality most of the time, and Magi 1 actually got slightly better scores for following instructions compared to Kling in that specific evaluation. That's pretty impressive for an open source model going up against a major closed one. Where Magi 1 really seems to stand out is against other open source models like Wan 2.1, Heiluo, and Hunyuan Video. Sand AI says it's achieving state-of-the-art performance there, particularly excelling at understanding prompts and generating good motion. Plus, apparently, it's got a knack for predicting physical movements in videos better than many other Others because of its unique chunk-by-chunk -chunk generation method. So yeah, it's definitely making some noise and closing the gap. But hey, scores and comparisons only tell part of the story. First, let's actually see what this thing can do. I've got some example videos generated by Magi one lined up right after this. Then we'll dive into how it all works under the hood. And definitely stick around till the end, because I'm going to put Magi one through its paces myself, and we'll see if it really lives up to all the hype, or if it still needs some more time in the oven. Okay, first up, Let's look at the official showcase reel that the Magi 1 team put together. They basically stitched together a bunch of short clips into about a minute and a half video, added some voiceover and music. It looks pretty slick. Check this out first. Hey, you know what? I've been a great actor since I was born. I don't need a break. I'm not afraid of danger. I work hard. I don't complain, though before every performance, I had to take your boring auditions, crying, <laughs> laughing, <laughs> crying, and then laughing, <laughs> fighting, dancing, flying all over the place. Sometimes a hero, sometimes a fool. Dreaming in a world of make-believe. In this place, to live or to die is the question you're pondering. My destiny can be pinpointed to one second. Or do a long-termism. Choose a path. Keep going. Keep going and fly, continuing in the ever-generating future. We collide with each other, pushing the boundaries of imagination, and your preference for each choice generates the world. This new world, it's called magic. All right, pretty cool, right? But let's be honest, official demos are almost always the best case scenarios, totally cherry-picked stuff. You can't always judge a model just by that. So, let's look at some examples generated by actual users to get a better feel for it before I jump in and do my own testing later. Remember, right now their online platform focuses on image to video and video to video generation. Text to video isn't lived there yet. So, most of these examples start with a reference image. Okay, take a look at this first one, generated from an image. Notice the natural body movement, especially around the chest area in this black and white clip. See how it subtly moves, like breathing? That looks really natural, definitely a good sign. Next up, check out this creature's eye against a cityscape with tall buildings. Watch how the eye opens, closes, focuses, and glances around. It gives off a cool, almost cinematic vibe, like something from an adventure movie. Pretty neat result. Now, look at this girl playing the violin. Pay attention to her finger movements on the strings. They look surprisingly natural, right? It almost doesn't feel AI generated. It looks quite convincing. Very impressive detail there. Okay, this one starts from an image of a sleeping girl. Watch how her face seems to relax or fall slightly. Then suddenly her eyes open. She looks right at the camera and even smiles. That transition feels really smooth and natural. Another really well done example. 
Here's an interesting side-by-side. -side. On one side, we have a 5-second clip from another recent model, Runway Gen 4, doing image to video. On the other, Magi 1 doing the same prompt but for 10 seconds. Comparing them, I gotta say, the Magi 1 result seems a bit better here. Look closely at the details and especially the hand movements. Magi 1 appears smoother and more refined than the Gen 4 clip in this particular instance. Pretty good showing for Magi 1 here. And how about this one? A cat just casually swimming and seemingly enjoying itself in the water, almost like a person relaxing in a pool. The movement looks pretty fluid, another decent result. Check out this pirate with a cigar, or cigarette, whatever it is. Watch how naturally the smoke curls out of his mouth. Then the camera smoothly pans around to show someone sitting behind him with the sea in the background. That's a really nice, complex scene with good camera movement handled well. Finally, this example really shows off the video-to-video -video expansion feature. It starts with about 5 seconds of footage, like a drone flying over grass towards some mountains. Then, watch this. The camera seems to fly into a hole in the mountains and smoothly transitions into a completely different scene, emerging over the sea near another mountain. And it keeps going. The last few seconds take the camera diving under the water, showing fish in the seabed. It's pretty cool how it can take an existing video and just seamlessly extend and transform the scene like that. Definitely a powerful feature. So yeah, those are just a handful of examples floating around, giving you a taste of what Magi 1 can do based on user generations and their own demos. So, what's Magi 1's secret sauce? What makes it different? Well, instead of trying to make the whole video in one go, Magi 1 is pretty clever. It works auto-regressively. Fancy word, but it just means it builds the video bit by bit, like stacking building blocks. Each block is a little chunk of video, specifically 24 frames long. It figures out what the next chunk should look like based on the one before it. This whole approach is great for keeping things looking consistent across the video, and it makes it easier to generate longer clips, maybe even stream stuff eventually. It learns by cleaning up noisy video chunks, and it's even smart enough to start working on the next chunk while the current one is still finishing up, letting it process multiple chunks at once pretty efficiently. Okay, let's peek under the hood a bit. Don't worry, not too deep. Magi 1 is powered by some serious AI tech. It uses something called a diffusion transformer, kind of like the engines driving those amazing AI image generators, but fine-tuned for video. The Sand AI team added their own tweaks to make it run smoothly and efficiently, even at a huge scale. It also uses a smart way to compress the video data, using something called a VAE with a transformer structure, which basically squishes down the video info so it can be processed and decoded faster without wrecking the quality. Plus, they've baked in some neat distillation tricks. Think of it like training the AI to find shortcuts so it can give you good results much faster using fewer steps without a big hit to how good the final video looks. So what can this thing actually do? Sand AI is highlighting some pretty cool capabilities. They're saying Magi 1 is hitting top tier performance among the open source crowd right now, especially when it comes to understanding your text prompts and making things move realistically. Because it builds video chunk by chunk, it offers some unique ways to control the output. You can apparently do chunkwise prompting, like telling it, okay, for the next few seconds, make the robot dance, then make it fly away. This could be huge for making smooth scene changes or crafting longer stories where you guide the action piece by piece. And remember that chunk by chunk thing? It also seems to make Magi one weirdly good at figuring out how stuff should move naturally according to physics when it's continuing a video clip better than many other models out there. All right, if you're itching to try this yourself, the Sand AI team has put the code and the pre-trained models out there on GitHub and Hugging Face. You've got options, from massive 24 billion parameter models down to smaller 4.5 billion ones, plus versions that are distilled or quantized to run faster and use less memory. Now, let's be real, running these locally needs some serious hardware. We're talking multiple beefy GPUs like NVIDIA H100S for the big models, maybe a couple of RTX 4090S, or just one for the smaller 4.5B version. It also depends on another Sand AI project called Magi Attention, which needs specific GPUs like NVIDIA's Hopper series right now. You'll need to follow their setup guides, probably involving Docker. But, good news. If you don't have a beast of a PC rig, you can actually try Magi 1 out on Sand AI's own platform. They have paid plans, but they also give you 500 free credits every single month on their free plan, which is awesome for dipping your toes in and seeing what it can do without needing your own supercomputer. 
Okay, now for the part you've been waiting for. I'm going to put Magi 1 to the test myself. Those examples we just saw were interesting. Some official, some from users. But there's nothing like trying it firsthand, right? I've got those 500 free credits Sand AI gives out each month, so let's fire it up and see what happens. First up, I grabbed an image I made a while back with another AI. It's that picture of Putin and Trump chilling on a beach. I uploaded it and gave Magi 1 the prompt. Gentlemen, they started punching each other. The platform estimated like four minutes, but honestly, it popped out in about a minute. Guess the servers aren't swamped yet since it's new. Probably won't last long once word gets out. Anyway, here's the result. Okay, they've got boxing gloves on and they are kinda punching, but look at this. The arm movements are super awkward and unnatural. There's some weird warping going on, and Putin's face completely changed into someone else. Yeah, not a great start, this one didn't really work out. Alright, let's try that same image again with a different prompt. They hug and shake hands. Okay, video's done. Hmm, they are kind of hugging and attempting a handshake, but we've got the same problem. Those arm movements just look wrong. Really unnatural? Definitely not what you'd call smooth or realistic. Okay, one more try with the beach pick. Prompt. They started running along the beach. And here it is. Ha! Okay, this one's kind of funny. Trump just bolts like a little kid, leaving Putin behind. But funny doesn't mean good quality. Still seeing those jerky, unnatural movements, especially with the arms and legs. The limbs issue seems persistent with this image. Alright, let's switch gears. I picked one of their featured images this time. A nice close-up of a girl's face. The prompt was simple. She winks and gives a flying kiss. These seem to generate faster now. Okay. Here's the video. Well, she tries to wink, but it doesn't really happen properly. And it's more of a general kiss gesture, not really a flying kiss. Plus, look at the hand again when it comes up. Fingers still look a bit wonky. So, still not quite nailing it. Let's try another prompt with the same girl image. She is eating an apple. Okay, the eating motion itself isn't too bad, but look at her hand and fingers holding the apple. Yikes. Same old limb, hand problem, lots of weird warping and artifacts. Still haven't hit a really impressive result yet. One more with this image. Camera zoom out and she started dancing. Let's see. Okay, the camera tries to zoom out, but the limb movement is just a mess. And she doesn't really dance, she just kind of slides out of the frame entirely. Yeah, this one's a definite fail. Alright, new image. Grabbing another featured one, this time two dolphins swimming. My prompt. Dolphins go deep under the water and the camera track them. Let's see if it follows instructions. Okay, video's done. Well, the dolphins are swimming, but only on the surface. They never go underwater, and then they just zip out of frame. The camera doesn't track them at all. So, total miss on following the prompt here. Not great. Okay, let's try one of my own images. This is one I often use for my video thumbnails. Let's give it a wild prompt. Mind blown by a huge blast. And, whoa. Okay, check this out. There's definitely a huge blast. Maybe not literally mind blown, but the effect is actually really cool. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this after the other attempts. This looks way better. Funnily enough, I tried this exact same prompt and image on Kling and Google's VO recently, and I think this Magi 1 result actually looks better than both of those. No idea why the earlier tests were iffy, but this one? This is genuinely impressive. Maybe it handles explosions better than people? Let's push our luck with the same thumbnail image. New prompt. A huge blast happened while she is dancing. And, boom, here it is. Look at that, massive blast happening right behind her while she's actually dancing. It totally nailed the prompt this time, combining both elements really well. This looks fantastic. Seriously, why weren't the other results like this? It seems capable of good stuff, but maybe it's picky about the prompts or images. Okay, last test for now. I've got 70 credits left, and it seems like generating video costs about 10 credits per second on the platform, so I can make a 7 second clip. Let's just give it a simple prompt with the same thumbnail image. She is dancing. It generated pretty quickly again, maybe 2 minutes. Here's the 7 second result. Okay, she's dancing, looks like it rendered it in slow motion, which is interesting. The camera even pans down a bit. Overall, it's decent, not bad at all, especially compared to the earlier attempts with the other girl image. So, that was my hands-on test drive, using the free credits on Sand AI's platform. What's the verdict? Honestly, it's a bit of a mixed bag right now. Some results, especially early on with complex human interactions or specific instructions, were pretty rough. Lots of issues with limbs, faces changing, and not following prompts. But then, those last couple of tests with the explosion prompts were surprisingly fantastic, even better than what I got from Kling or Vio on the same prompt. It shows the potential is definitely there, but it's inconsistent. 
It feels like it still needs quite a bit of improvement and isn't quite mature yet. But hey, this is just the first version, right? Hopefully future updates will iron out these kinks. The good thing about it being open source is that the community can jump in and help improve it too. I was testing whatever version they have on their platform, which might be based on the smaller 4.5B model, the one that can supposedly run on a single 4090. Maybe someday if I get my hands on one, I'll try running it locally for a deeper dive. But for now, that's my experience testing Magi 1.